we arrived here and we Our didn't know what me. and we didn't know what to expect and we we're like wow this place is amazing and i said to sarah when i left off learned a new skill and sarah says what's that phil <laughs> as if i didn't learn anything <laughs> The best view, the best camping spot in town, and the best coffee. That's my lunch spot here and today I made myself a sandwich. We're going to a 60th birthday party on the beach now. Here are our friends Tony and Margaret. What's it called? The cat. No tears. No oh my god. You can follow us on Instagram. Uh, okay, it's no, no tears. tears 49. No okay. underscore tears 49 on Instagram. Yeah. And YouTube. Uh -huh. Unders no, no no underscore tears underscore sv right yes look at you follow them <laughs> yeah i love your my look phil it's beautiful got my potato salad let's go happy birthday thank you <laughs> these guys have their own youtube channel but i'm gonna put them on my youtube channel <laughs> so what's yours called no tears no tears. Yeah. SV? SV, yeah. Yeah. So look at it. Up. <laughs> Are you right there in the background? Yeah, cheers to you too. Yeah. <laughs> and this is Ted. Hey. Ted, you're gonna be on my YouTube channel. Aye. Yeah. And you're gonna head I'm off. Yes, all good Ted. Oh, all good old Ted. Yeah. And you're gonna sail off. And never Every return. Every way. Polski Beach. And there's an Aboriginal community there, and one of the elders, Colin, has befriended Phil and adopted Phil and named him. Manyang Naraka gave him an Aboriginal name. What is it again? Manyang Naraka. Manyang Naraka. Manyang Naraka. Manyang Naraka. Or Mayang Naraka. Mayang Naraka. And that means the man from the beach between the refinery and Ski Beach. So Phil is the man from this beach here. This is the Gubaj sawmill here. It's weird. Oh! 
I think it's serendipity that we just come out here for a drive on Sunday and there's a beach cleanup. So, what they say? Do as you preach. <laughs> However, what they say. So, I'm going to cover up. It's pretty sunny. And we're going to clean up. And we're going to just clean up a bit. So, people buy less shit and use less plastic because it's all plastic. Just there's so many coconuts up on the beach too and they're so cute, all the washed up coconuts but the plastic, it's all shit So let's get out there and do it! Doing an amazing job, the beach is looking good isn't it? Fulfilled one of my life dreams. So true, yeah. Cleaning up a remote beach. You've always you know? wanted to do this. Yeah. Did you see the before? I looked after. It's nearly after. It's so much better already. I've picked about, picked up about 50 thongs, honestly. 50 flip flops. 50 pairs or 50 individual ones. So this is my second clean up, and this is my fourth time to Cape Arnhem. Awesome. Three wow. times, three times with friends, and one time camping. And where's home? Rockhampton. Oh, Queensland. Nice, yeah. nice, yeah. So no, it's good fun. Love coming and, up And like here. you said, you do it because even though the rubbish keeps coming back, in your head you feel you've done the right thing. Oh, right? definitely. Yeah. yeah, you do your little part. I mean, we come to these beautiful parts of Australia. Yeah. You've got to help keep it looking beautiful for like, generations to come. Exactly. Yeah. It's actually been a wonderful day. You know, you meet people. It's, oh, it is We're good. in Cape Arnhem. It's, it's amazing. It is. It is really amazing. This is the gate to the NASA rocket launch site. It's 
So we just sort of set up here. We're like three kilometers away from the site. Now we're just gonna have some spaghetti with meatballs. <laughs> That's a Guinness. <laughs> and a Guinness. We're in the Northern Territory at the Arnhem Space Center, waiting for the first NASA commercial rocket launch ever. There it is. It's stage two. Whoa. 